Yeah, Cleveland's depth chart. If you look at this one, so uh, I, the the person I'm really talking about is going to get a hit here is Dar- Darius Garland. So I, I would think yeah. Darius Garland, Mitchell, um, Mobley, and Allen are lock as the starters uh, for Cleveland. We still don't know who starts for in the small forward position. Would it be Levert? Uh, most likely it's going to be Levert, right? No, nah, I don't think it's Levert. Horror, I think it's horror. Horror. Yeah, I think horror. it's Coro. Yeah. Uh, given given that you have Garland Mitchell who are g- going to dominate the ball and then Mobley and then Allen, I don't see Levert's role there at the starting posi- starting five. So it should be a horror. should be a horror. Uh, yeah. So now let's talk about Garland and Donovan Mitchell. Fantasy-wise, I guess this is the biggest question. I don't think Mobley gets much of a hit. In fact, he might get a little boost with... Uh, Marken and not there, but not a big major boost, I guess, for, for him. Um, Jared Allen probably be the same Jared Allen we've seen. Uh, maybe not as good as last season, but close to that. But Garland and Mitchell, how do you see this shaping out? Um, eh, no, no way to sugarcoat it. It's not good. It's not good for them. I mean, they're gonna they they took a hit. Garland before today and Mitchell were probably neck and neck around late uh, mid to late twenties. Some people are actually picking Garland late second round because uh they have been predicting you know better uh another another step up from his All Star season. But this one will drop them probably around or uh, one round from their previous uh draft position. In my opinion, uh they're both uh ball. Handlers, you know, ball need they need the ball to be effective. And Garland's uh nine assists a game or whatever eight point nine to eight to nine assists a game. I don't think that will uh that will stay this year. So yeah, it's a big hit for both of them, in my opinion. But Mitchell, though, uh, do you think you know he might drop around? That might yeah. go to you know. Late late twenties, I guess, to early thirties instead of maybe a a mid twenties type of uh, uh draft position. Um, it's it's so hard. This these two are really great fantasy options, very durable fantasy options. But now it's gonna be tough for both of them to. It's they're still great players to own. I I'm not saying that you know. I guess these are the next year. Um, between you know, if you compare them to the Trey Young and the the Dejounte Murray, because they're at the top tier types of guards, right, sharing the role. The difference with Trey Dejounte situation is Trey and Dejounte are well, they ended in the early rounds. They are really early round yeah. prospects. So the hit there, there's a hit also there, but uh, like Dejounte's value is really steals, you know, and he can rebound. And I think in a way they can complement. Each other, the Mitchell Garland, you know, they're both six two, six one, six two. They're small, and they, their games. Oh, Garland can shoot better. Mitchell is more athletic, but they're, they're kind of similar, you know. Fantasy wise, let's talk fantasy. Uh, three points, assists, you know, scoring. That's that's where their value com- comes. So I would assume the usage will 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 be split between the two. So yeah, Mitchell. One of the favorite mid twenties target before, but right now I'm happy to let him slide to the thirties because of this uh, this deal. This yeah, trade. it's it's also interesting as players slide down uh, the you know initial projected draft positions, but no one's really moving up, right? That yeah, that's what's interesting this season. A lot of players drop like Dejounte, right? Like Trey, but really, there's no clear winner who moved up other than maybe Lamelo or Tyrese, right? And this is the same case. If you look at Garland and Donovan Mitchell, I wouldn't be surprised if teams or if managers pick them early as well, uh, just because there aren't any better options, I guess, uh, that 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 uh, that are available. Well, there 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 will be people that will that will uh, rise because of this, like. But it's a matter of us trying, like Kyrie, for instance. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Kyrie becomes more uh, 
appealing. Uh, you can talk yourself into maybe this is a contract year of Kyrie. Maybe you know he needs to behave. Maybe he wants to get traded to I don't know, uh, or maybe he wants to make this work because he as uh, he he uh, he found out that well there's no market for him <laughs> anymore. So maybe it woke him up. Kyrie, Kyrie is another uh, a player. Maybe Paul George, maybe Bradley Beal. Players that are still risky, but because of everything that happened here. Uh, you have to make a choice, I guess. Would you go for a riskier player or players who lost value because of trades? So that's the decision you'll have to make come draft time. Yeah. Now let's move on to the other players. Any player here who you think, you know, uh, would, you know, Mobley, like we said, Mobley, do you agree that Mobley and Jarrett and probably have the same role, same pr- production, uh, not too far off from what they did last year? Yeah, but they, they they will take a hit with Mitchell coming in. I, I understand Markinen leaves, but uh, anytime you put in a top 25 player into your lineup, there's no way that offensively Mobley or Allen will not get hit. I agree with you, the rebounds, the blocks, the steals defensively, I sh- they should still be the same from last year. But of course, there's the offensive side to it because people are drafting Mobley in a top 30. And I feel like that's too high. That's too high, especially with Donovan there. That's too high. And Jarrett Allen, if he's going like 50, 55, that's too high also for me. So there is also a hit. Maybe not as significant as Garland and Mitchell, but there will be a hit for Mobley also and Allen. But the rebounds and blocks should be the same from last year. Yeah. Uh, any player here that, you know, we should be cautious about? Levert. Uh, for me, Caris Levert. I'm not drafting. Harris Levert <laughs> in any form in sixteen even in sixteen team leagues because he didn't play well when he was traded. Now he becomes a sixth man basically, and that's even without Ricky Rubio yet. <laughs> so um, unless he gets traded, and and Levert's fantasy game is overrated to be honest. Uh, I, I, he's more of a name value I think right now. So Levert is somebody I'm not uh, touching uh, this year. And as we end this Cleveland depth chart, any player you think, uh, well, I'm staying away from your as well, so in case you want to know, but any player who you think could surprise us? Um, Kevin Love? Hard to find. The uh, newly well, married you know, Kevin Love. Yeah, K- Kevin Love can, I think Kevin Love. Kevin Love surprised be, last year, in fairness. Yes, to him, yes. Right? He, surprised, mean, he surprised last year, so I think he can continue that uh, performance last year, but none really for me that I see that I like. I, I don't want to say Okoro because I don't really feel like he's fan. <laughs> he's Mr. Zero. You know, he doesn't do anything with the minutes given to him. So I don't think that even if he starts, he will start. He's probably going to defend and, you know, do do everything invisibly, be an invisible guy in the starting five. But, if there's anybody here, you know, if you're in a 30 team league, maybe Luke Travers, that's the rookie, that's an Australian. But really, no, no, no exciting, you know, sleeper hype guy here in, yeah. in Cleveland. Fantasy wise, it's pretty much just four deep here. Uh, four yeah. players deep with maybe uh, Love. Kevin Love taking it. You might yeah, want I to forgot take a your, chance. your guy, Kevin, Kevin Love. Love, right? I mean, last year he surprised us, so maybe this year. Yeah. To yeah. be another good year. I think the role fits him well. Uh, he's not expected to lead the team with Donovan here. That might open up a bit more for him uh, on the outside. So I think Kevin Love I think- not really could surprise, but I think he can at least give you good, decent fantasy production. I think Dean Wade is somebody you could you could might be because uh you lo- they lost Laurie Markinen. So Dean Wade last year was was okay was okay for for uh, for uh, certain games. If he gets m- a lot of the small forward position, let's say Cleveland wants to do the big lineup they, they did last time, uh Dean Wade could be a deep league uh option uh, a player a big man who could score three pointers could shoot threes. Yeah. 